There are several candidates running for the Thai general elections scheduled for May 14, 2023. The main candidates and their respective parties are 1. Prayath Chanoka, United Thai Nation Party 2. Pirapan Salaratha United Thai Nation Party 3. Prat Wangsawan, Palong Prachurth Party 4. Patangtarn Shinawat, Few Thai Party 5. Pita Limjaroanrat, Move Forward Party 6. Anyutin Charnverkal, Bum Jathai Party 7. Juran Laksanawasit, Democrat Party 8. Sudarat Kirafan, Thai Sang Thai Party There is no clear consensus among the Thai people regarding whether they prefer a female or male prime minister. The country has had two female prime ministers in the past, and both were elected through democratic processes. The first female prime minister of Thailand was Yingluck Shinawat, who served from 2011 to 2014. She was the sister of Thaksin Shinawat, a former prime minister who was ousted in a military coup in 2006. Yingluck was elected in 2011 as the leader of the Phu Thai Party, which was backed by her brother's supporters. During her tenure, she implemented several populist policies, including a rice subsidy program that was later found to be corrupt. Yingluck was removed from office in 2014 by a court ruling that found her guilty of abuse of power. The second female prime minister of Thailand was appointed rather than elected. She was Yingluck's successor, and her name was Naiwat Hamrong Bunsangpazan. She served as the acting prime minister for two months in 2014, following Yingluck's removal from office. Naiwat Hamrong was not a member of parliament and was appointed by the remaining members of Yingluck's cabinet. It is worth noting that gender politics is a sensitive issue in Thailand, and many believe that women face systemic discrimination and obstacles in politics and other fields. However, there are also many prominent female politicians in Thailand, including the current deputy prime minister, Trinuch Thien Thong, and the leader of the opposition, Sudarat Kaurafan. Here are some strategies that candidates may use to improve their chances of winning the election. Develop a clear and compelling message, candidates should articulate their vision for the country and communicate it in a way that resonates with the voters. They need to present a clear and specific plan on how they intend to address the challenges faced by the nation. Engage with the public, candidates need to engage with the public and actively listen to their concerns. This can be done through public speeches, town hall meetings, social media, and other channels. Candidates need to build a rapport with the voters and make them feel heard. Build a strong campaign team. Candidates should build a team of experienced and skilled professionals who can help them with their campaign. This includes campaign managers, strategists, fundraisers, and volunteers. A well-coordinated team can help the candidate to execute their strategy effectively. Fundraise effectively, running a successful campaign requires a significant amount of money. Candidates need to fundraise effectively to ensure that they have the resources to run a successful campaign. They can do this by reaching out to donors, organizing fundraising events, and using crowdfunding platforms. Address controversies and criticisms. Candidates need to address any controversies or criticisms that may arise during their campaign. They should be prepared to address these issues head on and provide clear and concise explanations. Leverage social media. Social media can be a powerful tool for candidates to connect with voters and reach a wider audience. Candidates should use social media platforms to share their message, engage with the public, and build their brand. Form alliances. Candidates can form alliances with other political parties or influential individuals to improve their chances of winning the election. This can help to broaden their support base and increase their visibility. Thanks for tuning in to this response video. If you want to stay up to date on the latest reactions and responses, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, I love reading your comments and feedback.